10 Greatest African Achievements the Europeans Took Credits For Hello and welcome to our channel. In today's video, we'll be discussing some of the greatest achievements of Africans that were later attributed to Europeans. It is important to recognize the accomplishments of African people and give credit where credit is due. If we consider the origins of math, the understanding of celestial movements, medical techniques, and other notable accomplishments, it would be easy to assume that Europeans or Americans were responsible. However, this is far from the truth. The reality is that Africans have achieved a great deal throughout history, often with little recognition. The Great Pyramid of Egypt, for example, have been attributed to Europeans, Arabs, and Babylonians, when in fact they were created by Africans. After a careful and thorough investigation, Africa Reloaded aims to shed light on lesser-known aspects of black history, culture, arts, and lost civilizations. In this episode, we will discuss some of the incredible African achievements that have been wrongly credited to others. While the list is extensive, we have researched and to give you an idea of the incredible accomplishments that African people have achieved, even in the face of adversity. I am James, your host. Stay with us to find out more. Please take a few seconds to give us a thumbs up before we begin. The Construction of the Pyramids Construction of the pyramids in ancient Egypt is often viewed as a feat of engineering and architecture that was only possible with the help of advanced technology. However, the construction of the pyramids was achieved through the hard work of tens of thousands of skilled laborers and craftsmen. These workers were mostly Egyptian farmers who were conscripted to work on the pyramids during the flood season when farming was impossible. Despite their contributions, the credit for the construction of the pyramids is often given solely to the pharaohs and their architects. The Discovery of Diamonds in South Africa Discovery of diamonds in South Africa in the late 19th century was a significant event in the history of diamond mining. However, the discovery of diamonds was not made by Europeans, but rather by a South African farmer named Erasmus Jacobs. Jacobs found a shiny pebble on his farm in 1867, which was later identified as a diamond. The discovery of diamonds in South Africa led to a diamond rush and the development of the diamond industry in the country. Despite the significant role played by South Africans in the discovery and development of the diamond industry, the credit for the discovery of diamonds in South Africa is often given solely to Europeans. Mathematics this is an essential field that has contributed significantly to scientific discoveries and technological advancements. However, the Western world tends to overlook the contributions of ancient Egyptians to mathematics. The ancient Egyptians developed algebra, geometry, and the use of fractions, with the Rhind mathematical papyrus being one of the earliest mathematical texts dating back to around 1650 BCE. It is time to recognize the critical contributions made by ancient Egyptians to mathematics. The Discovery of Oil in Nigeria Nigeria is one of the largest oil-producing countries in the world, yet the discovery of oil in Nigeria is often credited to Western oil companies. Oil was first discovered in Nigeria in the late 1950s by a team of Nigerian geologists and a British company, but it was the British who claimed the credit for the discovery. The oil industry in Nigeria has had a significant impact on the country's economy, yet the role of Nigerian geologists in the discovery of oil is often overlooked. Medicine The knowledge of medicine was also widespread in ancient Africa, where societies had developed extensive knowledge of healthcare long before the arrival of Europeans. The Yoruba people of present-day Nigeria had a well-developed healthcare system that included traditional medicine and surgery. However, the Western world tends to credit Hippocrates, a Greek physician, as the father of medicine. This is despite the fact that many of his medical teachings were based on ancient African knowledge. Astronomy Ancient Africans also made significant contributions to the field of astronomy. The city of Timbuktu, Mali, had a university that taught astronomy, mathematics, and other subjects. The Dogon people of Mali also had extensive knowledge of astronomy and cosmology. They believed that Sirius, the brightest star in the sky, 
had a companion star that couldn't be seen with the naked eye. This belief was confirmed by Western astronomers centuries later. It's time to acknowledge the significant contributions of ancient Africans to astronomy. Ironworking Ironworking was developed independently in various parts of Africa, including present-day Nigeria, Tanzania, and Zimbabwe. The Knot culture, which existed in present-day Nigeria from around 1000 BCE to 500 CE, is known for its impressive ironworking skills. The Bantu people of present-day Tanzania were also skilled ironworkers, as were the people of the Great Zimbabwe Civilization, which existed from the 11th to the 15th century. However, the Western world tends to credit the ancient Greeks with the development of ironworking. It is time to recognize Africa's contributions to the field of ironworking. Navigation Ancient Africans were skilled navigators, with evidence of seafaring dating back to at least 6000 BCE. The ancient Egyptians had a well-developed knowledge of navigation, which they used to explore and trade with other civilizations. The people of the Swahili coast in present-day Kenya and Tanzania were also skilled seafarers and traders. They established trade routes with various parts of the world, including China and India. However, the Western world often credits the ancient Greeks and Phoenicians with the development of navigation. It's time to acknowledge Africa's contributions to the field of navigation. The Discovery of the Rosetta Stone the Rosetta Stone, a steel inscribed with a decree issued at Memphis, Egypt, in 196 BC, was discovered in 1799 by a French soldier. However, it was the British Museum that ended up with the stone after the British defeated the French in Egypt, and it was British scholars who deciphered the hieroglyphics on the stone. The discovery and decipherment of the Rosetta Stone was a significant step in unlocking the secrets of ancient Egyptian hieroglyphics, yet it is often credited solely to British efforts. The Invention of the Printing Press Johannes Gutenberg is often credited with the invention of the printing press in the 15th century, which revolutionized the way books and other printed materials were produced. However, the Chinese had already developed printing technology using wood blocks as early as the 7th century. Similarly, the Koreans had developed a printing press using movable metal type in the 13th century. Despite these achievements, the credit for the invention of the printing press is often given solely to Gutenberg. It is important to recognize and acknowledge the many great achievements of Africans throughout history, which have been unfairly attributed to Europeans. From the development of advanced mathematics and medicine, to the creation of complex societies and impressive architectural feats, African civilizations have contributed immensely to the world. Sadly, for too long, Europeans have taken credit for these accomplishments, perpetuating a narrative that erases the agency and innovation of African peoples. By acknowledging and celebrating these achievements, we can begin to rectify the historical record and honor the ingenuity and creativity of African cultures. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe to Africa Reloaded.